Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines with me, Mr. Potato Heads, and we're here in the city of Bernatan. It's been a while, it's been a little while in fact, um, but you can see there's lots of things for us to do in this city. First and foremost, it's got to be the traffic. You can see this huge queue of traffic we've got coming into the city, um, so we're going to work on that and then we're going to continue to expand the city as well. But let's jump straight in and get to solving this because it's stressing me out just watching it. So first things first, we're going to pause the game because there's going to be a bit of destruction here. We're going to destroy these roads, have a quick look at our terrain and make sure that we've got a nice level pad to work on because there's lots of terrain things going on here. And then we're going to build a bridge over the this main road. So what this means is through traffic will have kind of a, a nice easy route through they're not going to be interrupted too much by traffic kind of coming onto or off the road so a lot of this will be industry traffic heading over to our mine so they they won't be affected as it as bad by it so that's pretty good and we're going to build we've got this a bit challenging because of this uh terrain we've got here but we're going to create a nice slope down so we can create some kind of wonky weird parklow-esque kind of interchange which isn't ideal i'd like something that you know traffic might flow a bit smoother but to be honest because we've built so close to the kind of top side of this road this, this is really our only option without kind of majorly reworking the the network so this should do we just need to be really careful of the slopes make sure there's nothing too outrageous going on especially because you know we do have industry trucks and things going this way but yeah i think that's pretty good i think that'll work quite nicely we'll apply some kind of smaller asymmetric roads make sure we've got lane mathematics going make sure our road priorities are set up right so we don't want any weird traffic lights in places there shouldn't be traffic lights or stop signs in places where you know there shouldn't be but I think that's pretty good. And then this road, you know, we can, we don't need it to change from a four lane road. That can just be like that all the way along. And there you go. So let's just sort out these streets because there's some weird, weird things going on. Vancouver climb can come all the way down here now. That's quite a main road we've got running through the city. Okay, and then here, let's just add a slip road in there so that people coming in don't have to stop because then what we're gonna do is add some traffic lights there and that seems to be running okay we'll have to leave it to it um yeah make sure we've got our asymmetric roads the right way around that helps but yeah i think if we leave this running for a little while traffic's moving that's the main thing you need to do when you've got big backlogs is get traffic moving so that you're not creating huge huge backups that just kind of gridlock this seems to be going okay so i think let's let's step away let's move somewhere else and we'll leave that to it and see how it goes so at the end of the last episode we unlocked a new tile so that that means is we can finally finish the tarn so i'm going to lay out the streets and the roads do a bit of zoning and then i'll be back with you see here we probably need some elementary schools and high schools just to get the coverage and the capacity so we're going to drop an elementary school in here and i'd like to get a playground in i don't think we're going to fit it in right there but maybe just across the road and then we'll fence this area off so the children are nice and safe put a few trees in and because we couldn't get an actual playground park in there we can drop a few assets in and that's pretty nice just keep it pretty simple i think that that will do for now add a bit of zoning in there hopefully that power will jump across but for now we'll just put a little earthquake sensor in that will connect that up okay and then the high school is going to be a bit more challenging i'd like to use this one but it's quite a big one really um and it only has the same capacity as the the regular high school so we'll squeeze one of these in somewhere maybe around here i think maybe we can reroute our network we've just built and this can be a little campus just here, which I think will work really nicely. We can add a nice hockey rink in because that's something that all the high schools in the city so far have got. I like to think that they, you know, they travel around and play against each other. That's kind of where the, the peewee hockey happens here. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And then we can maybe add a road or just a path maybe into there. 
and there you go that can be the edge of the campus we'll leave a small gap to have another path in to get into the campus this way across here and then again just a few details trees some vegetation to hide some lumpies and bumpies and that'll be good Really, when it came to detailing this area, I was mostly just focusing on simplicity. I want, you know, with the city, I want it to feel detailed and nice, but also I'm not going to spend hours and hours on detailing everything. Same with the names. I'm not going to come up with special names for absolutely every building, but I want everything to have a name. So, you know, we've got the New Bern and Rapids ice hockey rink that's continuing like the little story that we've got of all these high schools traveling around and playing each other at ice hockey. Maybe that's, you know, something that the area is known for. I don't know. Um, but we're just adding a few services in now because this is, I mean, it's just a continuation of the community we've already got and this is kind of just finishing it off. So we'll see what we've not got coverage for, what we've not got capacity for. And then when it comes to zoning, just the same as always, a few blobs of commercial here and there. And then I'm just going to go around and fill in the rest with residential and we'll let that fill out. Whilst that does fill out, let's have a look. Traffic seems to be okay, 91%, pretty good. Um, and it won't stay like that if, it, if we don't do something. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's just see if we start to see any houses appear here. So that's slowly filling in. And whilst it does, um, there's lots of things we can be doing. And public transport is, is one of those things for sure. We don't have any in the city. We're at 17 and a half thousand um, population and we don't have any way of people getting around other than walking and driving which is probably one of the reasons we've got such bad traffic issues at the moment so you know people don't have any way of getting around the city we have lots of capacity for schools and shops and education and whatnot but people don't have any way of getting around so one thing I want to do is use this trolley bus which comes in the Sunset Harbour DLC I've never actually built a trolley bus network in a city before so I'm pretty excited about this and what we're going to do is add the trolley network around basically around the tarn so there's little bits like here where it's slightly further away from the tarn but around here this is like going along the shorefront now um, and you know the, the closest road to the tarn which I think will be quite a nice little trolley bus loop and not only will it be a nice way of getting around for our citizens, nice and scenic, but what we've got here is right in the heart of our community, right in the heart of the city, a good mid-capacity transit network, which will be a really good kind of crossover point, branching off point for lots of other forms of public transit. So I don't think it's reasonable or realistic here to expect to see a metro network in a city of this size, a town of this kind of density and size. That would be huge cost for infrastructure to get that in place for fairly little reward this is kind of almost like an above ground network um cheaper than building a tram cheaper than building you know um yeah well the underground tunnels anything like that but what we've got is a good it would be sustainable probably powered on electricity rather than fossil fuels which you know i think in a place like this would be quite important even though until recently they were just dumping their sewage into the lake um but yeah, I think these two will be really nice, a really good kind of starting point for a transit within our city. So we're just going to adjust the number of buses. We'll keep an eye on it. I find often the game puts way, way too many vehicles on by default um, when you're doing new transit lines. But what we're going to do, not this one because he's returning to the depot, but we're going to jump in with one of our buses now and take a little ride.
So there you go, that was a nice little ride. I thought that was scenic, it was nice. It's always nice to kind of jump into your city and see it from that that kind of perspective. There's a few little bumps and uh, things that need fixing in the long run, but um, we'll get there with that, that's no problem. We're not gonna be too worried about the, the tiny details like that as well. But one thing I did notice was those stops were full. There was a huge demand for this um, public transit. So we're gonna carry on to build that building out the network with a bus depot and we're going to put some regular bus lines in that are going to kind of come through and across the city so here we're going to start at the mines which is one extreme of the city come via the school which is kind of another high demand place people will want to get to and then work our way through some of these suburbs cross over a little bit with the loop the trolleybus loop and then we'll work our way back down. So what we don't want to do is just kind of mirror or, um, you know, copy the, the the bus loop, the trolley bus loop as much as possible because you don't want lines to kind of cannibalize each other. Then there's not much point in having them there. We want them to kind of cross over and complement each other. So here, someone can get on the trolley bus loop, get off and get this bus and get into the city of Takani. So with, you know, one fairly simple transfer, you can get from the mine to the city of Takani or anywhere around the center of um, the city of Bernatan. So that's, that's pretty handy. So we're going to finish this one off and then we're going to do another line on the other side, which kind of goes around the other side of the tarn. And now I actually look back on this. I kind of regret my decision here and something I might change in the future will be these lines because they do kind of just run parallel to each other, which isn't the end of the world but I feel like we could be more efficient in having one line run between the city of Dakani and the city of Milfoy, and then having a few lines kind of running to that kind of central hub in Milfoy where people can make a transfer. I don't know, it's something to think about in the future. This will work for now and it, it will be successful, but yeah, maybe we need to reconsider that as the city grows particularly. look at the numbers of people waiting to use these buses this is just shows the demand was there there's literally hundreds of people at pretty much every stop so we're gonna have to get some of the higher capacity bendy buses double decker buses out that can carry kind of 100 people 60 people that came with the um, vehicles of the world content creator pack really handy really really useful um, so we're gonna get that out there get those on force and I think we're gonna have a really successful transit network it just shows it was something the city was absolutely crying out for but something the city is quite literally crying out for is death care there's little icons everywhere so we're going to add another cemetery in um, and crematorium availability is very low so we'll add another crematorium in hopefully we'll start to see some of those dead people icons disappear um, through time oh the city of Takani needs some death care as well there's nothing going on down there and yeah, we'll start to see those disappear a little bit. How's this? Traffic's a bit worse at the moment because we've got all these buses, literally kind of 50, 60 buses coming out of that depot all at once. So as the as that all kind of settles down, traffic will sort itself out again. But to try and reach that next milestone before we finish, we're going to expand Burner Woods development and we're also going to add a little through path through Burner Woods Park so that people can walk from Burner Woods community into the city of Takani. So if they want to get to the university or any of the jobs or shops that are on offer down there, they don't have to drive along or even get the bus. They can just walk a few short distance down here. Look, connect up with this path and then there's a nice easy path through. So that's great. And I think we will see that used and that presents opportunities here to develop more housing. We're only... 650-ish people away from the next milestone, so hopefully this will just push that over the edge. So hopefully that will fill out fairly soon. Let's just have a quick look at traffic down here. It's pretty bad still. I don't know if this, we might need some kind of higher capacity interchange there or something, or 
we'll see uh, we'll see what's happening but let's just speed this through we'll wait for us to hit that next milestone which will hopefully happen pretty soon and then i think we'll call it a day on this episode and here we go we've reached it so 20,000 population Great, we've unlocked some nice new things. 32,000 is the next target. But for now, I'm going to leave you with a city tour of what we've achieved today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Whatever you're doing with the rest of the day, make sure you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.